Welcome to another episode of our AutoCAD MAP tutorial series. In continuation of our lighting design, so we have two fixtures in our kitchen here. But for the entrance here, let's just place this our surface with a CP. Likewise for our veranda here, or you call it balcony. Let's move this. For our external fittings, because of the nature of this building, let's adjourn that one for now. I'll need to look into the 3D so as to determine if I will be specifying what security lights or I'll be using antique fittings. For our staircase here, we have two methods of designing lighting fittings for staircase. But the one I'll be using is the LED strip fittings. It will just be along the rail here or as I will later deduce. We still have our dining and the dining also serves as reading area for the children. So I'll be copying this. But you need to ensure that it's aligned to boost the artistic design. So I'm copying this. I'm copying it here. Likewise, I'll be having my pendant fittings. Here's my pendant legend. It's a 5 watt 500 lumens CP fit. Let's reduce it down. Let's see. 0.7 instead of 6. To increase the size. So let's proceed to the second, to the first floor rather. So here's our first floor. We have our bedroom here, another bedroom, WCWC. So we have in our moisture preventing fittings. Which is the waterproof or splash proof fittings here. Likewise, here. Likewise, here. And for our bedroom, we'll be using indirect fittings. And this is our projecting view. So let's just assume we're having one here so that it will help in this our laundry. So that it will help this our wardrobe or you call it closet. So by having a fixture here, I would recommend another one here. Yeah, so let's go back to our ground floor plan and copy both together CP. So we have one here. Let's have it. So we have been another one somewhere around A. Let's put it very close to the bed R O F eight. We have balcony A. I'll come back to A to this. Likewise for our bedroom here so we can have a unit here and another one here. So let's copy this. CP. So we just have a unit here and another one here. So I'm repeating R O F H. Arrow. We have been in lobby air, but before that, our family lunch air, and we have been in a balcony. For our balcony to boost the artistic impact, I would rather recommend. A chandelier, but because of the economics, 
to reboot the surface fittings or a chandelier let's check the dimension we have in two six let's place one of our chandelier here so let's go back to our legend cp Space it there. SC point seven. But let's confirm the size with the former one we are having. We should increase the size of this SC one point two. We increase that so let's reduce this sc.8 let's confirm this to the rest so let's reduce this sc.9 let's go back to our balcony here so let's just place it in like this And for our main launch, for our family launch, eh? Let's forget to be having an LED strip that will be coming from our ground floor. Yeah. It's mostly around 50 meter long. So it can extend to this place. For our bedroom here too, we're having our point of projecting view or projection view somewhere around this place. We can have our lighting fitting here. Likewise, another one here. Is that good? Or should we have another one here? We have one here and one here. So let's have one here. Let's have one here. So I'll come back. See if Have another one. Okay. Let's we forget we mirror all our design in this first part of the project to the second. But for our lobby here, we can have two fittings. So let's have one here, another one here. So let's use our surface. CP. Let's switch. So let's put another one here. So you proceed with this design based on your own personal preference. Hope you find this video interesting. See you next class.